Let's talk about the Chicago Bears here for a little bit. Look, we all know the success for the short, medium, and long term for the Bears is going to hinge on the quarterback position. Obviously, a lot of that's going to have to do with what Caleb Williams grows and develops into. But the reality of the NFL is that a large portion of your successful opportunities will hinge on your major competition and the moves they make, whether they be smart or dumb. And I would argue I would argue that the Bears' potential biggest competition in the NFC in their division, the Detroit Lions, recently, Monday afternoon, made a really dumb decision that's a great move for the Chicago Bears. Let's get into this news, and we'll talk about it more in detail on the other side. This is courtesy of two tweets via Adam Schefter. The first one, another done deal in Detroit. The Lions are signing quarterback Jared Goff to a four-year, $212 million contract extension that includes $170 million guaranteed, sources tell ESPN. Uh, Schefter then uh, tweets uh, replies to his tweet saying, the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL on a per-year basis. You've got Joe Burrow at $55 million, Jared Goff at now $53 million, Justin Herbert at $52.5, Lamar Jackson at $52, and Jalen Hurts at $51. All right. Even if you're a big fan of Jared Goff, even if you think he's spectacular, the fact that he's up there with Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, that's a big-time overpayment by the Detroit Lions, which, of course, is great news for the Chicago Bears because the Bears, obviously, with Caleb Williams, were going to be much cheaper quarterback than pretty much their entire competition in the NFC North. Not only are they going to be cheaper now, the reality is the Lions have locked in a quarterback in Jared Goff who – Let's be honest here, it's very limited. So if Caleb Williams is just 80 to 90%, maybe even just 70% of his hype, the Bears could find themselves in a situation with a better quarterback than the Detroit Lions, right? An 80% Caleb Williams hype is better than Jared Goff as he is right now. So you have a better quarterback than the Lions at a big time discount. This is obviously great news for the Bears, the fact that the Lions would overpay and extend Jared Goff to a big deal. Mize, I know you've got some insights on the latest involving Caleb Williams. And before we hand it over to you, though, Bears fans in the comment section below. Curious what you guys think of your big time rival, the Lions, giving Jared Goff his big extension. Would you rather have them done something else, right? Are you, did you think this is kind of a good move for the Bears, the Lions giving Jared Goff a big deal? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. But Mize, give me your thoughts on this deal and all the latest updates involving Caleb Williams so far. Yeah, Nick, before we get to Caleb Williams, I'm, I'll talk on my thoughts on what all of this means for the Bears. If you look at what the Lions did, how they paid Jared Goff, this is the kind of money that you give a quarterback. You can kind of overpay a guy like this if, you know, you make a miracle run, get to the Super Bowl, maybe win a Super Bowl. This is the kind of money that you would shell out. But, unfortunately for the Lions, they didn't do that. They didn't even make it to the Super Bowl. They actually lost, a big-time loss in the NFC Championship game. And I would say this is arguably the weakest the NFC has been in quite a long time when the Lions lost. It's getting, I think it's gotten tremendously better over this offseason. The NFC is a scarier place to be now, and paying Jared Goff at this time is probably not a great idea for how much they gave him. Like you said, he was very limited. He's on a really strong team. He seemed to be one of the limiting factors of that team. San Francisco is good. Los Angeles looks like they're getting better. The Seahawks look like they're, you know, still going to be very good. The Bucks with Baker Mayfield another year under that system, they're probably going to get better. Falcons will definitely be better. Panthers probably not going to be better. The the Saints, they're going to be pretty good. Vikings, they're going to be at least different. We don't know if it's going to be better or not. Packers will be better. The Bears will definitely be way better. The Commanders are going to be better. Cowboys are just as good. The Eagles are just as good, and the Giants are probably going to be better as well. So I think this is a really revamped NFC. So this is a great move for the Bears because the Lions are hindering themselves with this overpayment. And as we talk about what's good for the Bears, I think Caleb Williams is good for the Bears because there's an update on Caleb Williams and how good he has been doing already in early uh, you know, rookie minicamps, stuff like that. Let's get into that. It says rookie mini camps have begun across the league, and Bears fans received their first glimpse of Williams in a Bears uniform through the team's social media posts. But they want to see how he's throwing the football, not evaluate, but to admire. Williams already won over new Bears offensive coordinator Shane Waldron, who told reporters on Saturday, this is a few days ago, that his arm talent is in his ability to put the ball where it needs to be was evident from day one. This is from over on fan sided. So not only did the Lions make this move that is good for the Bears. And not only are we talking about how Caleb Williams could be good, he could be, you know, 70% of his hype would be better than what Jared Goff is able to deliver. 
he's already proving it. Just one day, from day one, from the get-go, they're saying the hype is real, his arm talent is, re- is real, his accuracy is for real. So I would be excited about this if I was a Bears fan because not only did the Lions make this move, but Caleb Williams already is showing that he is the guy that is as advertised and he's going to be a big-time boost to this program. Yeah, Miles, I, I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction now. I'm not going to say for 2024, but starting 2025, all the way through the rest of the 2020s, the NFC North is just going to be a back-and-forth battle between Jordan Love and the Packers and Caleb Williams and the Bears. The Lions are going to become second, also Rams. I have no idea what's going to happen with the Minnesota Vikings. I don't think J.J. McCarthy will work out personally. But the Bears, Williams... Packers love that's going to be the matchup that's going to be the deciding factor in the NFC North two top teams two playoff teams for the next six years or so right so again Bears fans you should be excited the Lions kind of made a dumb move here gave you an a long-term opportunity with Caleb Williams it's not between you and the Packers duking it out the top of the NFC North and I like your chances long term I think this news along with everything developing this offseason is a great sign for the future of the Bears Data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, health records, even your relatives. It's all out there. That's why we use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows us which data brokers are selling our information and automatically submits opt-out requests for us. Cleaning up our information not only reduces the amount of that stupid spam we all get, but it also protects us from hackers who could use this information to help them access our social media accounts, bank accounts, and other sensitive information. Aura also does much more to protect us and our families from online threats. We also get features like antivirus protection, VPNs, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. That's really key. One location, get all this great stuff. It's really easy to set up. And the best of all, we get everything at one affordable price. And you may already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking the front door and leaving the back door wide open. Aura is always on doing the hard work to keep you safe so you can focus on other tasks and have peace of mind. We value our privacy and we value yours. You can go to Aura.com slash Saturday to start your two-week free trial. Also, link below in the description. Again, Aura.com slash Saturday for your free two-week trial.